Hi guys, I'm Franny and welcome back. Today I have a book tag for you that is Halloween themed. It's been doing its rounds in the last few days here on booktube and I was like, okay, I need to do this tag because you need to do at least one Halloween themed book tag a year. So here it is, the Halloween song book tag. This tag was created by Nicole over at A Beauty, A Beautiful Chaos of Books and I will leave her link, I will leave her link no, I will leave her channel linked in the description down below. And to make it harder for me, because of course, why not? For the answers to the questions of this tag, I'm going to use books that are kind of Halloween themed or that are perfect to be read during the Halloween time, because that is how I roll. So without further ado, let's get started. First song is Thriller, a book that was an absolute page turner. For this one, I'm gonna go with The Seven Death of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turn, a book that I actually listened to, so it was not a literal page turner, but as soon as I started it, I was so sucked in that I needed to finish it as soon as I could, because like I needed to go on and find out who done it. This book is set in a mansion and you basically follow a character that every day wakes up in a different body of one of the guests that have been invited to this huge ball and you need to find out who is gonna kill the daughter of this family that has thrown this ball and it's so addictive because every day he wakes up in a different body and he relives the same day over and over again and so the more he goes on the more he tries to gather clues and figure out who is going to kill her and try to stop them and stuff happens and it was just so good it is long for a mystery kind of book because i think that the actual physical book is like 500 pages long or something like that but the audiobook was amazing and I loved it and I definitely recommend it. Second song is Somebody's Watching Me, a book that gave you the serious creeps. I'm gonna go with The Dead House by Don Krotajic. This is a YA mystery slash psychological thriller and oh my god, it gave me the creeps. I always have a hard time telling people what the synopsis of this book is because it's very complicated. So I'm just gonna read to you a brief description that you can find on Goodreads and it says 25 years ago, Elmbridge High burned down. Three people were killed and one girl, Carly Johnson, disappeared. Now a diary has been found in the ruins of the school. The diary belongs to Caitlin Johnson, Carly's identical twin, but Carly didn't have a twin. Goosebumps. Third song is Vampire, a book you hated so much it was soul-sucking. I'm gonna go with a book that I didn't really hate, but I didn't like it. I tried reading it twice and both times I DNF'd it because it just it wasn't pulling me in and it was such a disappointment. It's The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury. I don't know why, it has everything that I usually like in a book, there's like a mystery, there are characters who need to go on a quest to save somebody, there's history and it's scary and the descriptions were beautiful, but I just, I, I couldn't get in the story, I just, I, I wasn't liking it and I tried, but it just failed. Fourth song is I Put a Spell on You, a book featuring witchcraft or magic. The first one that immediately came to my mind was A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. This is all about paranormal creatures. You have demons, you have vampires, and you have witches, and the main protagonist is a witch. There's also a TV show that I really, really recommend you guys go and watch because it was just brilliant and I loved it so much and I cannot wait for season two to come out. Oh my god, I'm so excited. But I have a video review for this book so I will leave it linked in the description down below in case you guys are interested in checking it out. But it was good. Fifth song is This Halloween, your favorite treat or snack to eat while reading. I don't eat while reading. It's really not something that I do. I usually eat when I watch TV shows and stuff, but if I had to pick a treat would be nachos. I love nachos. Sixth song is Time Warp. What books or book, what book or books do you return to at this time of the year? 
Um, usually during the fall, I love reading either mystery books or paranormal books with paranormal creatures and a book series that kind of combines these two elements together and that I absolutely love is the Jacobi series by William Ritter. I only read the first two books in the series and there are four books so I still have the last two to read. I love the covers of these books so much so I think I'm gonna try to buy them because I want to own them but at the same time I listened to the sample on Audible and I loved the narrator too. So now I'm confused. I don't know what to do, but still it's a great series. It's kind of like a Sherlock Holmes retelling but with paranormal creatures and I just, I don't know, there's something about it that it's kind of like warm and cozy but at the same time it can get scary and I would recommend it to people who like this combination of paranormal and mystery books. Seventh song is Hungry Like the Wolf, a book you loved so much you devoured. The Diviners by Liva Bray. Actually, the whole series, like not just the first book, but the whole Diviner series by Liva Bray. There are currently three books in that series and the fourth one is coming out, I think at the end of January, King of Crows. I'm dying to get my hands on that book. Actually, I'm dying to get my hands on the audiobook because that series is narrated by January Lavoie and she is my goddess of audiobooks. Like whatever she narrates, I'm going to listen to because she's fucking brilliant and I love her so much and the whole series it's like historical fiction and a little bit paranormal and it's so scary and so just great and it tackles a lot of different issues and stuff and I just I love it so much and you guys need to read it ASAP. If you still haven't, because if you have read it, you know how good it is. So, you know, you can always reread it. I might reread the third book before the fourth one comes out. Yeah, I could do that. Eighth song is The Addams Family, a book featuring a dysfunctional family. I cannot say why I chose this book for this question, because I think it could be... I mean, not really, yeah, a little bit of a spoiler, but I mean, I would risk ruining the story for you and I don't really want to do that, but Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, I cannot say why or how, but there's definitely a family that has problems <laughs> in this book, <laughs> definitely, so yeah, this this family here, it's just, it was crazy, it was a crazy ride and I loved it. So, ninth song is Scary Monsters, a book genre you're scared or intimidated to pick up. I would say thrillers or psychological thrillers, I rarely pick them up. However, a few days ago, I started listening to the audiobook of The Silent Patient by Alex something. I'm not gonna say his name because I cannot pronounce it, so I apologize. But you know what book it is because everyone has been talking about it and I think that there's also a Netflix adaptation of this book. But yeah, I started listening to it. I think I'm like two hours in or something like that and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's weird and it's mysterious and kind of addicting and I'm loving it. So maybe I shouldn't be intimidated to pick up like thriller books. Maybe it's something that I would enjoy. We'll see. And the last song is The Twilight Zone, a book with a completely different and unique premise. For this one, I'm gonna go with Sadie by Courtney Summers. I loved this book. The plot itself is not too original, too unique, because basically you have a girl whose sister has been killed and she thinks she knows who has done it, and so she goes on a quest to find this person and make them pay. However, like, you also have a second storyline where you follow a podcast, a true crime podcast, that is investigating what happened to this girl who went out looking for her sister's uh, killer. So I think that it has a very unique storytelling and for the kind of story that it was, it was just perfect and I loved it. So if you still haven't read it, which is it possible? I don't think so because everyone has read it, but if you still haven't read it, definitely pick it up because it was beautiful. It can get brutal. It's hard to read or to listen to, but it was amazing and I definitely, definitely urge you guys to go and pick it up. 
So this was my Halloween song book tag. I really had a fun time trying to like match the books with the questions because I wanted to pick out books that are perfect for this time of the year and I really enjoyed the challenge so yeah it was really so much fun I love Halloween I love this time of the year and I love the kind of books that you read during this time of the year I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video if you want to reply to any of these questions in the comments down below you can totally do so I would love to chat with you in the comments and I wish you all a great Halloween, have fun, be scared, and eat a lot of junk food because that's also what Halloween is for. And I'll see you soon in another video. Warm hugs!